Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I figured I'd show you how we finally decided to set up my wife's uh, Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360, uh, which you can see here. Um, we have it right now uh, pretty much set up to torture it. Uh, we have it screen sharing up to a 75 inch Samsung 8 series 4K TV. And then I have it uh, hard lined in with a USB-C to HDMI converter. It's then going through HDMI into the Samsung uh, Odyssey Q3 gaming monitor. Um, and as you can tell, I have four HDR videos ready to play on that. Um, I figured I'd kind of show the display, how I got this set up so that the screen up here is just my screen three, mirroring screen one. And then I changed the order since that displays over there so I can just click and drag tabs over there and it just works as one fluid monitor. Um, most of you know how to set that up, but figured I'd just show you that you can do all that on the Galaxy Book. Um, so this should be a pretty hard test for it. I was able to get this thing to lag pretty bad earlier. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll throw this all the way up into uh, full screen. So it's gonna be having the full screen uh, on this display on the 75 inch and then we'll get all four of these going um i'm amazed that this computer can handle this period let alone what i'm about to do to it um and obviously it's going to lag it's going to have a little bit of issues no one's ever going to put this much stress on it this is going to be four 1080 videos over here as well as a 1080 and then the 1080 up on the 75 um so we're going to push this graphics card to see what it's capable of um, I did go through and at one point had this display, which is obviously mirroring up to here, set up where I had four individual displays of that, which then meant that I had 16 uh, of the videos playing over here. Um, and that was, a, the computer did not crash. I will give that, it did not crash. Um, but it definitely did not like going that far. Um, but... I figured this would be a good way to kind of show what this is capable of, show how we decided to set it up. Um, this is our bedroom, um, but it's also my wife's office space. I'll be doing a walkthrough of my office in the basement later. Um, but we did set the 75 up in the bedroom for watching. So now with the Galaxy Book, she can screen share up to that if she wants. Um, obviously has a smart feature, so any of you know Netflix, Hulu, stuff like that, we can just watch on the TV. Um, but if she's working, no, she can have a bigger display up there. And what's nice with Windows 11, I'm sure Windows 10 as well, being able to put the four individual screens over there uh, means that it's really great for productivity um, and versatility. So I'm going to go ahead and get these playing, uh, show you that it will do it. It's probably not going to be happy about it, but it will play these. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this up here. And yes, once again, um, this is kind of my go-to stock footage that I'm using for a lot of my testing. Uh, it's Samsung's HDR footage that they have on YouTube. I know it's not real HDR because it's only 1080p because it's YouTube, but um, it does have a lot of contrast ratios in it. So I figured we'll go ahead and use that. Um, so I'm gonna probably switch over to this side real quick. Um, I will also point out, while I get out of the way here, that I am using a Windows Bluetooth mouse. Um, personally, I think this is a little bit too small. Um, I have a Logitech uh, Bluetooth mouse that I like to use with my setup. Uh, it's all just person preference. Mine's a gaming mouse, so it has a lot more features and functionality to it, but that means it's bigger, it's harder to move around. Where this one, my wife likes, she has a little bit smaller hands than I do, and she doesn't need all those functions, so it's a lot more portable. So with a lot of things, there's a trade-off for what works best for you. Uh, we do also have a Bluetooth keyboard setup. I have it plugged into the laptop right now. Uh, this is a Logitech Bluetooth or wireless keyboard. Um, it does also have RGB backlighting, uh, just because a lot of stuff these days do. Uh, the I prefer the all white backlighting. The RGB is kind of fun for some people, I guess. Um, and my wife definitely likes it, so that's a plus there. Um, I do have a little USB to USB-C adapter plugged into the computer because the keyboard uh, comes with a USB-C to uh, USB cable and the Galaxy Book only has USB-C in. Um, and uh, you can see 
the kind of back lighting lit up on it now that I've plugged it back in and it kind of woke back up. Um, it's a nice keyboard. Uh, we just set it up today so we won't have a whole lot of use on it so far, but so far it seems nice. Um, it does have some nice kind of indentations where your fingers rest. Uh, so it seems like if you're doing a lot of quick typing, it'll kind of slip into that quickly. Um, I don't know for essays or long uh, format papers how well that will work, but um, yeah, first impressions, it's a really nice lap or a really nice keyboard. Um, and yeah, it, it does work Bluetooth. We just have it plugged in to charge because it had really low battery right off the bat. Um, plus, it is nice the fact that you can use it as a wired keyboard. Um, and then Bluetooth and it does come with the wireless dongle if you do not have a display uh, that ha or a computer that has uh, wireless or Bluetooth capability for that feature. So really nice keyboard. It was I think about $130 so it is kind of expensive but for all the features that it has I can use it on my iPad. Um, we can use it plugged in or wirelessly um, or Bluetooth on the laptop. Uh, when my computer gets here, I can use it wirelessly with the dongle on that. Uh, my wife can use it on her phone, which I don't think she'd ever need to because she has a laptop. But just letting you guys know, it's very versatile. If you don't have a laptop and you just have a phone and you want a keyboard, this will work great for it. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start the big one up top first. Um, and then I'll go ahead and start kind of adding on a little bit by little bit so you can see uh, when it starts to slow down. I do also have the audio muted on these other ones. It was kind of fun and haunting earlier. We let the audio play on all of them and the kind of weird echo to it uh, because you can't obviously get them all started at the same time. It was kind of neat. Uh, a little weird, kind of neat. So you can hear the fans just booted on um, in normal every day to day use. Um, I think this is the fourth or fifth day now um, that we've been using it. Today is the first time I've actually managed to get the fans to kick on. And I don't know if you can even really hear it. They're decently loud for how small the computer is, but it still does not compare to uh, like my HP laptop. Uh, there's some Dells that I've tested or seen um, that are perpetually loud. And then when you, from what I've heard, uh, when you run them into really hard uh, benchmarks or testing, they really kick on. So for the torture that I'm putting this thing through right now, doing essentially six videos, um, it's not that bad. And this thing managed to play it. And actually maybe because I had them all loaded, um, it did not even lag all that much. Um, so yeah, very impressive. I highly doubt you'll ever put this much stress, uh, through the graphics card, through the display on this thing. But that's why I figured I'd make this video is just to show you the capability of it. Um, I am going to try and do some video rendering on this laptop later as well, just to see, uh, how hard I can push the processor in it. Um, obviously I was able to run all this stuff without, um, really bottlenecking much. Um, and earlier when I said I had the 16 displays going, it was running, but it was lagging, which could also be an internet issue. Cause the other thing I will say is that I'm running all of this off of Wi-Fi right now. Um, I do have 200 meg download speed internet right now. So I do have a lot faster internet than a lot of people may have. Um, but you can see there's all sorts of different videos playing now and yeah, it's running amazingly, especially for a $1,550 laptop and one that's not designed for gaming. It's not designed for high performance. Uh, it's designed for versatility and it still does this. Um, this is pretty unbelievable. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. Um, some of my early videos now have had some amazing uh, view counts on it, which I appreciate to no end. I appreciate all of you for taking the time out of your day to come spend some time with me, see what I have to offer. 
and hopefully we can grow this community. I can keep bringing you some cool uh, tech tips, some uh, cool tech setups, uh, and hopefully as time goes on, maybe get some new devices in here to uh, unbox and do some comparisons. So thanks again, hit that subscribe, leave me a comment down below, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see, any torture test you want me to put this thing through, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.